what has become of this city. There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. Oh, you don't want to skip this, dude. This is sweet. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom, torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, ma'am. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What 
you just move to town and you get to be king? I think you're a little pussy.
Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realm. Oh, uh, he's amazing. Speak, Bard! What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> The wizard is gone! My name is the kid. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point! In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this! Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin! This isn't about some dumb stick! There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That... That sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Well, nothing left to do but go home and play Star Trek Bridge Crew. Oh, hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Fuck. You, Mom. Hey, Tom Brady. You want to play the game or do you just want to be known as a smug cheating bitch the rest of your life? Officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my Fuck. son told me Ew. I would burn to death Mom. if I try and cross it. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe he just died in the gutter somewhere. 
Human kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Woo! Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on the, the, the fast pass to get there to this. Excuse me. can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy. Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer? It'll blow up the fucking galaxies! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Ugh. All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanie device. It's over there. Took long enough. The fantasy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ADLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Instagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Instagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet... Blaster. Speedster. Blaster. Since you're a newbie, you're speedster. You might piss off fast pass, but sure. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. You used your punch attack on the bad guy. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist! Where's my atoms? With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! Kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders can manage! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage. Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this. 
you were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! Come on, it's the only power you can use right now, Hyperspace Fury! So you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Instagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Yes, I've heard of those. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. in a photo with someone with so few followers. Sorry. Can you help me with this thing? It's stuck. Can you help me with this thing? It's stuck. Hey, you got it open. You're the real deal, little superhero. A, a selfie? Sure, kid, let's do it. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. of our known universe. Beyond there lies the limits of time and space. 
You just go the other way, that's what I'm saying. Well, I guess we have enough mutuals that we can selfie. Not bad, Butho. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid. Everyone knows Keeper's mom has the nicest boobs. Dude, shut up about my mom's beads, bro. Why don't... When I finish kicking your butt, I'm gonna kick your stupid frog butt. Frogs don't have butts, they have swallowcups. No mercy, new kid. For Forthy Scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. Ew, so gross. Is it too late to talk this out? Shut up, wuss. It was so cool. Maybe I can become as strong as you one day. Soon you will be approaching Super Craig's Fortress of Solitude. Super Craig hasn't checked in. I hope nothing's wrong. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. We should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw him. I'm thinking maybe he smelled the dog food downstairs. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. Be careful. This is probably the most challenging mission you've ever been given. Look, there he is, in the bed, way up high. You don't have amazing arm stretching powers, do you, butthole? Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Those might be handy. You're welcome. Oh, almost. Do it again. Whoa, there he goes. Follow that guinea pig. Quick, hit that box with your thing. Whoa, shit. I can't believe you just did that. You're so good at this. Move that thing out of the way. All right, do your- Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Use the power of your ass to overwhelm his super sensitive spell. Fart him out, man! Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig!